Hey guys, welcome to another Sort of George Garage with me, Julian. Uh, today we're going to be doing the inner seal on a Mopar 8 and 3 quarter rear axle. Here we go. Right, let's take this half shaft out, shall we? Now I have noticed that the uh, nuts here are only sort of tall tight, you know, like a bit of a nice and tight, but they're not really torqued down like mad. So, right, let's take this one off first because it's got the locking uh, clip thing here. I've marked up, as you can see, with some silver paint, just so that I get it on the right one, just in case that moves. And that's what your locking clip looks like. Right, let's crack on and take this lot off. Right, that's them five off. Right, is it gonna? Yeah, look at that, it just pulls straight out. There she goes. I've just put a bowl down there just in case anything was going to come out, as in oil. And there is one half shaft, just like that. And there she is up on the bench. I've just been having a bit of a play, bit of a nose with this. There is no... Um, play or anything like that in this bearing there's no grinding going on that's lovely and clean in there um, this uh, this black line here is just where the um, the inner seal rides that's all so uh, it should probably just there you go I'll just clean off look use me nail there you go that's coming off all that is is just a rubber mark. Sort with your water. Right, there's no wear, no nothing. I don't know what these lines are, but there's nothing nothing there whatsoever. No grooves, no uh, ridges, nothing. Even if it was like a thousandth or anything like that. So, yeah, we're pretty good. I'm happy with that. This just needs a good clean up uh, and put them back in once we've done the rear seal. Sort with George. Right, that's the uh, bearing repacked almost. Just doing the last little bit as you do. Uh, I have spun this, spun this up and down, you name it, with that outer race. And I'm trying my best to get all of the um, air pockets out. Uh, best way to do it is obviously do your best to fill it up as much as possible and then just sort of grab this and spin it. I mean, you can see the where the actual bearings are, the wheels of the bearings, as it were. See, look, looks like there's a bit of a gap there. So I'm trying my best to pack this as best as I possibly can. Because once it's in, you don't want to take it out again if you can help it. So squeeze as much grease in there as you possibly can. As you do, so that it is done. Like I say, I am 99.9% .9 done. If not 100%. There you go. Right, in the seal. Here we go, let's have a look. And you can see down the other end there. That's the other end of the half shaft. As you do, right, in the seal. Now, Right, inside there, if you can see the green oil, but there is also some here, right in this little valley here on the actual seal. So that's a good telltale sign that it is the inner seal and not the outer seal. Also, this here is the uh, grease from the bearing that we've just repacked 
uh, and it's obviously been, I won't say watered down, but you know what I mean, it's been thinned down, watered down by the uh, axle fluid that's escaped through the seal and obviously sort of watered it down a bit. So I have noticed as well, like I said, the, uh, the green fluid that's in there, that's actually a really clean, if I can get my finger in there and dab it. That's lovely and clean. So that has been replaced at some point. So that's good. Uh, yeah, right. Let's uh, let's clean this muck out and change over that seal. Here we go. Let's clean out all that gunk as you do. Look at the crap. Lovely. That's grease. Thick old grease. Okay. Right, let me give this a better clean up. Because the camera is in my way at the moment and I'll come back. Okay, there it all is. Cleaned up, lovely. That's looking really good in there. Pleased with that. So now what I'm going to do, I'm going to mark up with a pen in a couple of places around sort of like here and here and up along the top like so that's put a mark on the uh, on the inside as you can see and what that is for is so that I can get the right depth when I put the uh, seal back in. So, right. Let's take the seal out. Here we go. There she goes. That's better. Lovely. There you go. Job, job. There it is out. Right. Yes, my marks are still there. That's good. Right. Let's bring you in. Right, now that inner seal is out, you can see my black marks there. Uh, looks like we've got a bit of a rust ring going on uh, from the inner seal. I would have said because of that, that it's probably been in there since it left the factory. Um, you do have an inner, uh, an inner depth ring, if you like, stop. Uh, when you come to put in the um, the new inner seal, uh, what they what they recommend what they recommend is that you move it either in or out just a fraction. Um, if you remember earlier, the black line, the black ring on the half shaft is obviously caused by going around on the rubber on the inner seal. Um, if like this one, it's been in there since factory, I would have thought. If you get any kind of wear on the half shaft, if you put it back in exactly the self same place, then you may not be getting the seal as you would if you moved it out like a couple of foul. You know what I mean? Um, so ideally, just push it in just that fraction more or leave it out just a fraction. But you have got plenty of room, if you like, to go in further if that's what you want to do. I'm going to clean this up now, uh, and then we'll put the new seal in. Sort of, George, <laughs> bang in. <laughs> That's got that cleaned up. Uh, this little bit of sort of brown stain left, but the rust has gone. It is nice and smooth there. I used Scotch Bright instead of like emery cloth. I didn't want to scratch up the surface too much. Um, I've lost my marks, um, but hey, it is what it is. But what I can do, I can just use that sort of brown stain there, as it were, as a reference guide for when I put in the new seal. Um, yeah, let's crack on. Let's put the new seal in. Here we go. Right, guys, I've just been looking at the old seal. You can see it's the same height as the other one, which is good. But it's a two-piece seal. There you go. So what I ended up doing, obviously, was hooking that, and then it just dragged the rubber off from this one. It's got a step to it. And also, I can go in the bin. Also... That is what has given the brown mark, like the rust mark, as it were. 
Uh, so probably isn't rust. It's just a stain from that. So that's all right. That's good. Also, for your info, the part number of the old one is 2404215 and the replacement is 15460. I tend to shop at some online rock place. Um, that's the part number that they've got, made in Mexico. Uh, yeah, so, and I have double checked, it is the same and also I was right, that seems to be the OEM factory part so yes that's been in since the factory let's go and fit the new one here we go bang in <laughs> right seal time let's put this in uh that's the inside that's the outside you can see the tiny little silver spring around there that holds the rubber in which obviously presses the rubber up against the aft shaft so that's going to go in there what you want to get if you've got one, something like a two inch, this is a two inch um, socket and she fits over that. Absolutely perfect. Lovely. I had to borrow this one off of a dear friend. Thank you, Craig. You're a diamond. That fits in there. Lovely. Absolutely lovely. So you want to put that in there, get it in as square as possible. Hang on. I said square, not crooked. Come on. That's lush. Yeah, that's square. Lovely. Put that on there. Let's give that a tap. Yeah, look at that, she's going in, that's lovely. Yeah, she's going in, nice and square. There we go. Lovely. Right, now I've got to get this nice and level now. As you heard, I think I was hitting that bottom ring here. Yeah, look, there's all the paint coming off. <laughs> right, I've got to get you nice and central now. There she goes. And she is in. I don't want to blow that. I want to get all the paint off and not blow it into the uh, axle. Go in a little bit more. See, look. That is a perfect fit in that inner hole. Two inch socket if you can get one. That's lush. That's perfect. Give that one more for luck. This is where I balls it up. There you go. Yeah, that's lovely. That's in there, that's fab. Look at that. Spot on. Lovely. That's good. Pleased about that. Right. So that's how you put in an inner seal. Like I say, your best is to get, you're better off getting a two inch socket because that fits in. I don't know if you can see down the side there. That fits in absolutely perfect lush and there's no left and right up and down on that intersection 
and that will drive that in absolutely perfect. Right, let's put in the half shaft. Get this in there, as best as you can. And what I'm using is the actual drum to uh, try and give me some extra grip, because obviously this is quite a uh, heavy little unit, this. So, in you go, this is gonna be fun and games to try and get in, obviously with the camera in the way, but I'm trying to do my best for you. There you go. Now, that there, I'm just gonna keep that there for a second because I wanna show you something, hang on. Right, that's better, I've got the drum off and uh, put you on the tripod again so that we can see what we're doing. Right, now, I've kind of cheated here. Um, obviously, there was the mark, okay, that the clip has to go on and it goes on to that one there, right? So if I was to put that on there, like so, that lines up lovely, all right? Now, this is what screws in and out, this bit here, okay, that there is what screws in and out to take up the end float, all right? That's your adjustment. So what I done, because we weren't actually replacing the bearing or the end stop or anything like that, all we were doing was the internal, like the inner seal, that's all we were doing. What I ended up doing after we took this off, I just put some tape around this, this, and this to hold everything together all the way round. Finished? Lovely. Um, I put some tape all the way around. <laughs> Just so it held everything together and kept together. That way then, whilst I was cleaning, that didn't end up going around here uh, and, and come out of, out of alignment because you want the flat, hen, flat top here, obviously, to line up with this bit. So when it goes in and pushes in, like so... Obviously, you've got the flat bit here because you've got the uh, you've got the wheel cylinder just above it here. Okay, so now when I put that clip on, that is lined up perfectly. Nothing is out of adjustment, so I'm still going to have the same end float as what I did prior to removing it. I know it's a bit of a cheat, but then I don't have the tool. Uh, you know, the, the, the what's name M float tool, you know, the great big dial in it is so sensitive. I haven't got one of them. So because all we're doing is removing it and putting it back in again, we're not doing anything as regards adjustment. If we were replacing the bearing, then yes, you'd have to do that because it would be a new bearing. But everything is still seated as it is. So that's your little cheat. You shouldn't have to do anything now with that end float. Right. Let's uh, bolt all this lot back up, here we go. Right, we've got in four. That's got the same amount of end float in it as what we had when we took it out. I can feel that, that's lush. And also, just for your info, out of these five nuts, there is only one that has got a washer built in, right? That one is the one that goes on where the clip is here. All right. So there's only one and it goes on where the clip is. So job, job. And if you want the uh, torque settings, it is 35 foot pounds of torque on these what's names. All right. So. I'm just talking these down correctly. I knew it wasn't a lot because they weren't overly tight. So, uh, right. Do that. That one. Lovely. And Lovely. That's brilliant. Sorted, George. 
And that guys is how you do an inner seal on a Mopar 8 and 3 quarter rear axle. Uh, I hope this video helped you out. Um, like, share, hit the subscribe button if you wouldn't mind guys. I'd really appreciate it because it will help this channel grow. Uh, and I'll see you on the next one. It's sort of George Garage. Banging.